This is Patrick. So as I explained, I would search for men whose atom had split with specifically, particularly, the signature of anger, which would be indicated by the the man's atom being split with a flame at that point of the split that is orange, red and dark blue and in that point of the split through that hole there I would enter and within that point of entry you would literally be in and as the being entirely and I would manifest me as the human being and then have complete and total control and power over the being and their entire life experience without them even being aware of it. And there have been many men that had been imprisoned and killed by lethal injection or electrocution because of me. <laughs> they themselves as the being was actually innocent. It was me, Patrick, that drove them to the point of killing another human being because it was in that moment of killing that I as a demon would experience the euphoric hell <laughs> but this euphoric hell would be the compounding nature of the anger the hatred the fury that absolute power in that moment of killing another human being within a mind is extensive for a demon magnificent and through the centuries I would already integrate within a child and I would grow up with this child and through the years I would slowly but surely compound and grow anger within them because through the years through the hundreds and hundreds of years children children's atoms split through anger already at the age of three to five and with me having all the time and existence I had no problem in manifesting me within a child at the age of five three to five years old and grow up with them usually to the age of eighteen to twenty three twenty five where I would make my move would drive them to a point of being enraged in the madness of anger and hatred and fury driving them as me to the point of murder or rape before I had so many methods. I had integrate, manifest, possess men, have the murder and kill, another human being. I'd have myself be, have myself as the being that I drove to kill, be caught by the law, and then experience me dying through electrocu um being electrified or through lethal injection experience dying in the physical in that way because I knew I couldn't die so I either after I had killed after I'd possessed a human being um, and have this being through me murder and kill as many other human beings as possible I'd either literally 
shoot myself as the being that I'd possessed, slit my throat. I had all sorts of ways of removing or killing me as the being in this world after I had sufficiently possessed the being, driving them, forcing them to kill as much as possible. Or I would go the route of being caught by the law, being electrocuted, or through lethal injection. And that was my existence, and that was my experience as a demon, within and as this reality, this world, for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. Integrating into men in particular with a signature of anger in that point of the split of the atom, which is caused by the existence of anger within and as a human physical body of a being. I would possess a human being throughout their entire lives, direct and have control and power of the being of their lives entirely, creating their world, their experience of themselves to the point where I as the being would be able to kill and rape. This is where, with me, the origin and the name of serial killers was, bro was born. Oh. I was all the serial killers, most of them, within existence, throughout existence that existed here within this world, this reality, throughout the aeons of time that I've existed, throughout the centuries that I've existed as a demon within existence. I was responsible for many serial killings as I integrated me within and as the male to control and directive power of them, of their life experience in this world without them even realizing it. And that's how I existed, that was me, that was what I did. Till I realized within and throughout this process, within the interdimensional existence, that the anger, the rage, the hatred, the sadness, the sorrow that I experienced within me at the moment when I viewed my wife and my child being killed before my eyes wasn't towards the seven men, it was towards myself because I felt responsible for them dying, for them being killed in front of my eyes. I enslaved me for hundreds and hundreds of years because I wasn't self-honest with me. Amazing. After centuries, centuries and centuries. Not centuries and centuries and centuries. I mean, after centuries, the experience that I have is so long within the interdimensional existence. I only, within and as the interdimensional existence is process, realized this, that I was actually angry towards me and that I didn't want to take revenge upon other men. I wanted to take revenge upon myself, that I felt that I deserved to suffer for what I had done, for what I was responsible for, because I couldn't protect my wife and my child. Thanks for listening. This is Patrick.